I'm here in always sunny Coral Gables, Florida at the Venetian Pool, which is a historic public swimming pool that is an astounding 90 years old. Let's take a look inside. It's way cooler than it was before. <laughs> oh my god. The Venetian Pool is one of the main tourist attractions in Coral Gables today, even though it opened back in 1924 as the Venetian Casino. But tourists aren't the only people who use and enjoy it. The local residents also treat it as a great getaway. Well, I hadn't been here in a number of years, and I live really close by, and I wanted to go to the pool and be out of the sun, and it was easier than going to the beach. I mean, a pool's expensive. I bought a home last year, so this is obviously a lot more affordable, and you know, for the few times a year I'm going to go, it's, it makes sense. <laughs> it's obvious that this destination is popular, but just how popular is it? Year-round, uh, we probably have about 60 to 65,000 guests that come to the pool, whether it's to swim or sightsee, but we have about 60 to 65. Out of those 60 to 65, maybe about seven to 10,000 are actually Coral Gables residents. So you have to think about it. in the city of Coral Gables, there are no public pools. This is what we would consider our community pool. Very fancy community pool. Um, but keep in mind that the pool, it's not just about coming to swim here, it's also all the benefits and programs that we offer. So we have swim lessons here. It started actually in 59. It's a volunteer club of 150 ladies that teach swim lessons. And I have people that come back and they're now in their 70s and they tell me this is where they learned how to swim. So you can think of probably the majority of the population and not just Core Gable, South Miami, um, Kendall, Hialeah, a lot of these people come here to learn to, how to swim. So I think that is a bigger impact than anything else than what we have general admission coming in here is the people that we teach how to swim every day. Well, safety wise, I don't know if you guys know, we've gotten numerous awards for our safety. We got a couple of awards from uh, Ellison Associates, which is the people who give us our license. And we're ranked one of the top. We got a platinum award from their uh, association. So we rank one of the top safety pools uh, safest pools in the city. The Venetian Pool is certainly a popular landmark as it is a resource not just for Coral Gables but for Miami-Dade County as a whole. However, like many well-maintained facilities and public parks, there is often a cost. So the Venetian Pool is a community pool in the sense that it is run and operated by the city of Coral Gables. It is budgeted each year um, those numbers fluctuate depending on what the needs are. We are set up as an enterprise fund. That means that even though we were budgeted a certain amount, uh, we may or may not make a profit. Uh, but however, in the last couple of years, uh, we have um, gone up in numbers. One being that our attendance numbers have increased, our programs have increased. We haven't raised our prices, so the prices are the same for the last two, three years. However, our revenues have still been increasing. Yeah, I know. Though it may be costly, people still enjoy the public Venetian pool for its high value, which encompasses beauty, renovations, history, and an overall theme of paradise. All in all, it seems safe to say that the pool is worth it.